Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we discuss on how we can globally change the color themes within Metronic itself. So first thing we need to do is we need to of course purchase Metronic and download it and then unzip it and then it should look something like this. So open this folder with your IDE of choice. So we are using Visual Studio Code. Now, if you haven't um, seen our overview on Metronic's um, SAS file structure, um, we highly recommend for you guys to have a look at that first before we get into this video because that video explains on how all our SAS files are structured and laid out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, so please have a look at that first if you haven't. If you have, so we can go right into it. Now to change colors within Metronic, all you need to do is you go into the source folder, go to SAS, go to components, and go to uh, variables demo. Now the variables demo, uh, as mentioned, is basically the variables file for each individual demo. So what we need to do here is we can just change, change this, um, whoops, change this hex codes here to whatever colors that you want. So let's say that we want, um, let's say we want the primary color to be say red no not red maybe a different shade of purple yeah maybe something like that and then we have also a hover color you want it to be maybe um a darker purple something like that and then we have a light version of it which is just a light purple like that and that's it but if you also want to change um, the secondary colors. So let's look at our variables. Now, as you can see, our variables, we have a dark color. We have a primary, secondary, success, info, warning, and so on. So these are all the colors that comes with Metronic. So let's say if you want to change the success color, let's say we don't want it to be teal, we want it to be greener than this. So all we need to do is we can just copy this whole thing, put it into demo. So what this does is it overrides the bootstrap variables and we have to make sure to remove the default um, keyword. Whoops. Like so. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna edit this to slightly more green, say this. Yep, that's fine. And then hover will be a darker green like this maybe and light will be a light green maybe this yep yeah. that's fine let's do okay, go ahead and save this and compile it so let's go into our theme html tools open up our command prompt and run gulp demo one you can, of course, you can of course run um, Webpack to do this as well by using npm run build and then dash dash demo one. Looks like we have an error. So let's go ahead and see what we have. All right, the error basically says that the white is undeclared yet. So what we can do here is because white is here and white is actually declared up here in this demo, we don't have that. So all we have to do is just switch this white to a hex code, which is just hash and then hashtag and then all Fs. Save that and then we can run it again. All right, it's done. Let's go ahead and run our localhost. And also open up, oops, I need to copy the localhost. URL and let's open up our live preview as well. So uh, the best way for us to preview our um, colors, uh, well, first of all, we can see the colors has already changed to purple as what we've updated with our primary colors. But a good way to see our colors is you just go to say bootstrap and you go to buttons. And that is where we showcase all of our buttons. So if you go to the same page within the live demo, we can compare the different colors that we used. So on the live demo, our primary color is blue, 
and then the success color is like tealish green color and then what we change this basically is a light purple for primary and then a very heavy green or just like bright green for success that's pretty much it uh, if you need to change more colors all you need to do is just refer to the bootstrap file see all the colors that we, we have and then just change or copy this into the demo and then make the changes there of course you can also do make changes here if you want but um, we don't recommend that um, to we don't highly recommend that simply because if you overwrite this you will lose the default colors so in case if you want to revert back to default colors um, you're unable to do so because it's already overridden rather than if you put it here then at least your colors are defined here and if you want to revert back to default at least you still have this file, uh, this file. So hope you find this video informative. If you did, please give us a like and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time when we release a new video, you get an update. Please follow us on our social medias like our Twitter and Facebook. Links will be in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.